Hello everyone, it's Amy and I'm back. I'm just going to finish up these pin cushions. I did add a little bit more um, tea stain to both of these. And so, I'll just show you the way that I do the part that holds the stick pin. Oh, if I can get the... Oh, can't hardly get the top off the gesso. So the first thing that I do is I put gesso on. The first ones that I did, I didn't put gesso on, um, and it took me like three coats of paint to try and paint the styrofoam. So I learned my lesson. I knew better in the first place, but I just didn't pay attention. And these are just foam squares. They are sticky back, which makes it really nice to... Um, Put them on the tags when you're done but oh, oh this one has some little dents where the stick pins were stuck in there but that's okay it actually winds up I put ribbon around the edge um, five eighths I think it is so it doesn't quite cover the whole thing so you see a little bit of the paint first I just kind of go and I mush it in there and then I go around and just kind of go one way and give it a pull and that tends to um, make it a little smoother and you don't see as many holes so I'm not going to do it all the way around though I'm just kind of do that but you know they're supposed to be they're supposed to look a little distressed anyways so if it doesn't get 100% covered I'm not real worried about it. I do do the top just around the edges because I cover it with a uh, paper. I just want that edge not to show black. I did actually one of them I left black, my red one, because I really liked the looks of the red and the black together. I think those are two nice colors together. So I think this is the first time that I've ever really made a lot of stick pins. I've made just a few before. And um, I think I was making Crafty Lenny Peas. I was really having a good time with it. So I thought I would just, you know, try something. And then when I figured this out, I just keep making them. My husband will come out and say, oh, you're making those again? <laughs> so it's like, yep. I don't know what I'm going to do with them all, but I'm going to make them. So there's step one, cover it with gesso. And this one's already been covered. So these are the orange ones we made earlier. <coughs> and this is the brightest that I've done, but I'm gonna try it. I usually use more muted colors. I love browns and that type of thing. Grab a different paintbrush here. this one orange now and this is going to be for our orange stick pins and then the other one that I just gessoed when that one dries I don't know what color I'll paint it it's going to be for the white and brown stick pins maybe I'll paint it brown so it's very gloomy here today can't believe that winter is here already well it's not here yet, but it's coming fast. It was so cold this morning. It really makes you realize anything that's got to be done outside, you have to get out there and get it done. Last weekend, our youngest daughter and her husband live right next door. And last weekend, we were out working on the French drain, and they were out working on horse vents, trying to get everything ready for winter get all the weeds cleared off of it. Well, they were bringing a new horse home, too, so they had to make sure that they had all the weeds not touching the electric fence so that it was working real well. Make sure the horses didn't chase each other through the fence. But, so they got that done. and They got the French... Well, they didn't get finished, and neither did we. But we all got a really good start, so that's good. And yesterday it rained really hard, and usually the water runs right across our driveway and right through our garage and down the sidewalk 
and it puddles at the bottom of the stairs and at the bottom of the ramp. It's like a four inch deep puddle. So it rained really hard yesterday and my husband got home before I did because I had to go to town and he called me and said that the that there was a river running through oh Ezekiel James Zeke come here my husband must be home Zeke stop well he's not going to stop that till I let him outside because he was going to want to see his dad come on come on I'll let you out Yeah, letting them out doesn't help much. You can still hear them hollering, but it makes them happy. They think they have to protect the whole wide world. Okay, so there we go, and then I'll find a nice orange. Maybe I'll tone it back just a little bit, or maybe a yellow would be pretty because they're orange and yellow. But I have to let it dry before I can find the ribbon to go with it. So that's that one. And after they dry, I've already chosen for these. These are some older ones that I did. And I've already chosen my paper. It put this dress ink around, again, tea dye, around the paper. To, whoops, I'm sorry. I'm working off of, probably I've been working not on camera this whole time. And if so, I just won't put this up. This is just um, Eileen's quick dry tacky glue, or fast grab this one is. I just put that on there. And that works well. That doesn't tend to make your paper bubble. It's not too liquidy. And that's why I like to use this one for some things. And I'm afraid with this, I did something with styrofoam the other day and used my other heavy glue. And um, it ate through the styrofoam. So I was afraid that this is like foam rubber. I was afraid it might do the same thing to this. So I'm not going to use that one. Oops. And I am putting glue on a blue ribbon which goes with the blue stick pin. So I guess I better put it on here before the glue dries. See how that's just, it's just a little bit smaller. So you see a little bit of the paint on the side from here. And I obviously did not burn the end of my ribbon when I was done. So I need to clip that off. There we go. This is glued down. It's not going to fray. And we'll put this one right over here since I've got a mess. And... I guess it's time to get some more of this, too. Of course, it's so heavy. That's why I always store my glues upside down. That probably ought to do it. Make sure I get it out to the edges to hold that paper down so it doesn't curl back. that one. Yep. Right where the ribbon comes together will be the bottom. Let's add that one there. And finally, put the pink ribbon on this one. I 
I know that orange paintbrush should not be sitting there. And why didn't I just take it and put it in the water like that? I don't know. I can be a really messy crafter. I painted this one kind of a peachy color and then chose the pink to go with it just to brighten it up a bit. And I have to sneak those strings too. There we go. And that's going to be for my pink one. Put that right there. So I will stick that up, decide what's the top and what's the bottom. I'm just going to go just like that. Find the bottom with my hammer. I think that looks good. Now that is for these three stick pins here, but I'm not going to put them through right now um, because of the glue on the ribbon, so I have to let that dry, but there's my holder for that one, and oh, and I, on these ones, instead of a bead cap, I put those a little aluminum roses. And I thought that really was kind of cute, too. So, well, that's kind of start to finish on how I do my tags. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you have an outstanding day. And I don't think I'll be back before the weekend. So I hope you have an outstanding weekend. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.